Hello, Miguel from Grimo here, and I'm going to show you how to implement an affiliate system based on URLs. Basically, every affiliate would get a specific code, affiliate code. In this case, we have two affiliates. The codes are code one and code two. Once you append that to a URL, we will be able to register that affiliate click. And then we could reward the affiliates based on how many clicks they have or how many referrals they brought into the program. So the way that works right now is anytime you add the parameter ref and the affiliate code, which in this case, there's two, uh, in this case, code one would that be for affiliate one. And if we have this code and we refresh the page, now the system has to save this as a valid referral. And if we click on any of the items, we can see that the save referral is code one and immediately this would count towards the click count for that affiliate. Now it says one here. If we repeat this, but with, uh, with code two, then once we click on any of the items, if we go back to the affiliates, you can see that affiliate two has been assigned a click as well. Now, how do you do this? Uh, if we go to the Glide uh, app editor, we'll be able to see that we have under the data a new table called referrals. And what we're doing is using a computed column of the type get part of URL, and we're grabbing the parameter ref. Once we have that, then we have to save it for the duration of the session using a user specific column. And we have a custom action that grabs the referral code from the URL and paste it, copy it and paste it into the user specific code. Once we have that, we can do anything we want with this code, which in this case is to increment the value of the click count. All right. Now for this, you have to grab that code and paste it using a custom action that is attached to the click of any of these items, right? So whatever people click, that's when we're going to save it, right? You cannot save automatically the value of the affiliate as soon as somebody lands on the page. People have to click on an item in order for that to happen. So if we go to collections and go to actions and under the click item action, it's a custom action, and if we see that the referral is not empty, in, in other words, that the value of the referral parameter is not empty, then we can copy and paste the referral value that we grabbed into the referral code, right? So the grad value from the URL gets copied into the user specific column that is going to be the referral code. Now we can uh, go to the detail screen and we can increment the value of the click count for the referral user that matches that code, right? And then we can say applied referral. And if there is no referral code, then we just simply take them to the detailed screen. Now, if we go to the data under things, we can see that first we are grabbing with a single value column, the grab referral code, then we need to link to the referral table in order to be able to write to it from the, the things table. And then we are going to save that into the user specific column. Then we again, grab the save referral code. And if it matches any user, let me just here type uh, code one as an example, we see that there is a match. Right now there's a match, it's affiliate one. And because we have now related back to the user's table, then we can write into it from the things table. And that's how we increment the count. And there you go. This is how you implement a referral code system using custom URLs in Glide. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.